go. Five, four. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Daily huddle. Welcome. Today is June 22nd, and this is episode number, Sora, what is this episode? Number 66. That is unbelievable. My name is Giovanni Gonzalez. Welcome, all of you, to the Daily Huddle. I am truly excited to be with you every morning at 9 in the morning to create the context for the rest of the day. We say here, the way you start your day gives you the rest of your day and the way that you live each day gives you the rest of your life. So that basically leaves you in some kind of context about the right now. It's all about the right now. And I get to always introduce America's executive coach, a business partner, a friend of mine, and a mentor for many years, Mr. Sorel J. Catan. Good morning, Sorel. Good morning, Giovanni. You know, when the president gets introduced or when somebody else gets introduced and they say, this person needs no introduction, that's what it like, it's like for me to introduce you, Giovanni, the transformational leadership coach, the number one transformational leadership coach needs no introduction. It's my pleasure to be uh, co-hosting the Daily Huddle with you and creating this morning for the studio audience and everyone around the world, a conversation anchored in the question, how can you create a turning point? Well, uh, Giovanni and I have been working for the better part of three months now so to real. create a conversation for the world and for ourselves anchored in this term, turning point. I looked it up in the dictionary. It says a turning point is a time at which a decisive change in a situation occurs, especially one with beneficial results. I want to give Giovanni a little, uh, you know, few moments to speak to you about the collaboration he and I have been uh, creating and causing over the course of the last three months that resulted in a conversation, a course, half day called Turning Point. Gio, speak a little bit about what's been our life for the last three months. Yes, thank you, Sorel. And you know, I, I wanted to kind of create something first. Uh, today's Daily Huddle special guest are Sorel and I, for those of you who were like expecting like, well, who's today's special guest? Well, today's special guest is Sorel, and I get to talk to him about, well, Sorel and I, about something that we have been cooking, something I've been working on for the past almost, I would say, eight weeks now, maybe a little bit more than that. And, um, and it, it's, I was just thinking that it, it just, it's built on the foundation of the Daily Huddle. The Daily Huddle is a turning point in some way. Sorrel, do you know how many people the Daily Huddle has reached in the last 28 days? Well, on the page on the right now, it says 21,900 and some people reached. So, uh, not bad. Yeah, that's not, awesome. Not, not, bad. not bad. And it not has 4,000 engagements. Not bad. <laughs> A turning point, right? An idea that became a turning point, right? To create a context for as many people as we can to start the day powerfully, right? So that's pretty awesome. So to, to create a little bit of the context of today's conversation, like Sorel was saying, Sorel and I have been huddling up for a while and um, we started looking at creating a, a conversation that creates a uh, when I say a conversation, I mean a workshop. I mean a training, right? That's what I mean when I say a conversation. So we started creating a conversation, a training, a workshop 
that creates a turning point in somebody's life. Uh, mm -hmm. One of the things that in, in, in my own life and so well, in his own life, one of the things that are, we are committed to and together is to give people tools to take, be able to take on any circumstance and turn it around and have the kind of emotional intelligence, have the kind of um, effectiveness, assertiveness, right? If, um, calculated action, if you will, so that you can and anyone can turn their situation around any moment in their lives. And we have been at this work for, well, for over 15 years, combined experience for over 30 years, but individually, we started looking at, well, if we collect everything that we, if, if we put together everything we have collected in, in the last 25 years, and we put it in three hours, what would that say, right? What would that say? So we started working on that, and then we kept on working, we kept on working, so we finally finished this workshop, that it lasts three hours. And we wanted to introduce it to the Daily Huddle, talk to you a little bit about it, and kind of give you a sense about what is it like so that you live with this kind of a distinction and this kind of tool, kind of insight of what the conversation is about. And also we're committed that today, on today's Daily Huddle, that you get access to creating a turning point in your life and the any circumstance that you're in. So that's uh, um, uh, how I think I wanted to introduce the Sorel. Anything else you want to add? Well, um, we're just going to roll with the conversation, right? So that workshop, that three-hour conversation that Giovanni's pointing to has an intention. And the intention we ended up creating for it goes like this. You will discover, the participants in this conversation will discover for themselves the barriers to high performance and create a shift in mindset that enables them to be in action, to win and to be high performers in life and in business. Now, that, that intention rings really well to me and, and reminds me of this time. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna talk about me. I had very carefully thought it through and I made all the right moves because at that point there I was sitting at my desk and I knew it was time for me to get promoted. I had been working as an engineer for Bell South for uh, almost 13 years at that point. I would work day and night. No one worked harder than I did. Guess what happened? They did come to me. position for you. That position is in South Alabama. Now, guess what my response was? No, thank you. <laughs> so it's kind of funny, right? The very thing I had been working so hard for, for so long, was offered to me almost on a silver platter, and I refused it. Now, you could say that in that moment, I missed a turning point in my career as an engineer. And you might be asking yourself, and I've been asking myself, well, how did I miss that? Well, it turns out that in this conversation called Turning Point, what Giovanni and I uh, are seeking to uncover and get people to discover is that I live in a world, and the world I live in actually gives me the way I think, the way I behave, what I'm interested in, what I'm not interested in, the way I think, what I can think about, what I can't think about, what I do, what I don't do, what I say, what I don't say, and the way I experience myself and the way I experience my life. Now, you see, in that moment when I was offered that promotion, the world I was living in, I had no choice but to experience life the way I was. I was a black man.
knowing that I must work hard to earn it. And knowing that even when it's offered to me, it's probably a trap. So they can catch me on the back end and let me go anyway. So in Turning Point, one of the ways Giovanni and I work to create access to fulfilling the intention of the workshop in one's life and actually create a turning point for yourself is we give you an access to seeing the world you live in. Because we say the world you live in, the world you're in determines everything. Giovanni, that was the world I was living in and I had no choice. It was inevitable that when that opportunity was offered to me, I would say no, it was predictable. Wow, you know, I really love how you're creating it, Sorrel. I'm gonna kind of dig in a little bit to give a sense for all of us who are listening, how we are trapped in, in two ways, right? For, for those of us who are looking to create turning point, right? in our business and in our life, in our, in our relationship. As you were saying, well, you were working really hard to get a promotion, right? To create, to create, to advance. And, and I'm sure that while you were working really hard, you were like studying a lot and you were creating relationships and, and you, you were going at home and creating a context of how you were going to make it and you were going to go to the next level and you were enrolling your whole community around how you were doing it. And that was your world. And if, if, if at the time you had Facebook or you had YouTube, you would have been um, searching on how to get a promotion, right? And, and you'd be searching around what you want. But what constrains me, what constrains you, what constrains human being in causing a turning point, it's not necessarily the lack of knowledge, but a kind of an awareness to the world in which I'm living in where my knowledge doesn't create a turning point. It just doesn't do it. And we work really hard to create that turning point but we can't. So then here your boss comes and says, we're ready for the promotion. And your world dictates your actions, your behavior, what you say. And then you said, uh, no, no, thank you. That, that, no, that, that was just, uh, I just, I was kidding, really. I just, I'm okay right now. And so that was so perfect that I liked for everyone to just kind of consider, kind of take on that we are Sorel that you are so real in your life, that an opportunity shows up, that, a, that an angle shows up, and then you'll say, no, no, not, not really. Not really, the, the right circumstances are not happening right now. And so in this three hour conversation, we, are, we created it in such a way, it was so carefully crafted so that as you go through the conversation, you begin to discover like, like an aha moment, like, oh, like you get it. Why, even though you are in consistent action in your life, because you're, you're in action, either going, going to the sofa and, and clicking on Netflix and watching a movie, that's an action. Going to the kitchen and getting what you don't, you don't think you should get, that's an action. Whatever it is that you're doing, it's actions. And yet there is a difference between the actions that create the life you want and the actions that you take, right? There's a big difference, right? And so what you'll discover in this three hour conversation is how to align your thinking so that the actions that you already taken becomes a natural self-expression to take the actions that you know lead you to create the world you want. And that takes a little bit of something to actually get. And I'm gonna say it again, Sorrel, and tell me what you hear. In the conversation, you'll begin to discover how to, you begin to discover how to understand why the actions that you're taking 
because you are taking actions, are not aligned with the actions that you know will make a difference, will create a turning point in your life. So that's how what I heard from what you, you were sharing, Sorel. Yeah, and uh, you know, in sharing that, uh, what we want to give you access to is that in creating the conversation, we were going through the conversation ourselves, right? It's like, it, it never dawned on me that I would be presented with an opportunity to almost double my salary and be on a pathway to maybe be a, an executive vice president or even the CEO of the company and say no. So I, you know, we started digging. We said, you know, there must be something behind the way we, me as a human being, think and act in life. And what Turning Point offered us and what we want to offer to you is access to fulfilling this intention where you can cause a turning point in your life whenever you want. And one of the things where we, we discovered is a clear access to that is the capacity that you and I can build to see the world we're living in. And that's just one of the aspects of the course. There are 10 specific conversations that we go through, right, Gio? Uh, there's this one called, see the world you live in. And then inside of the world you live in, there are a multitude of worlds, one of which is the relationship you have to your circumstances, the relationship you have to your emotions, and the relationship you have to your commitments. And how for a human being, for me, I took the circumstance called working, wanting a promotion, made it one and the same with my emotions as a quote unquote, black person striving and confused it all with my commitment to advance. And unbeknownst to me, what was working in the background was not that commitment at all. It was another commitment. My commitment to prove that I was being oppressed. <laughs> Funny thing, but until I had a conversation to uncover for myself the world I'm living in, I had almost zero access to create another world that would give me different actions and point to different results. So uh, we're boiling three hours or more into 15 minutes, and we're not gonna try to do that. And Giovanni and I are so immensely grateful for the environment that the Daily Huddle and you have caused. Like you're literally the ones birthing this conversation. You're literally the ones powering this collaboration between myself and Giovanni. And I want you to know that the, the Daily Huddle family is contributing to the whole thing. Uh, when you see the logo for the Daily Huddle, it was designed by none other than one of you. Andrea, raise your hand. <laughs> when you see my picture, on the Daily Huddle flyer, it was done by none other than one of you. Lori Kay's not here this morning. She did that. So the whole thing for us is uh, this brotherhood, sisterhood, the result of our collaboration with you, our affinity for one another, and uh, just the way Giovanni and I love to dance. And we wanted to offer that to you today. Jill. Uh, we can stop here and open it up for questions and then uh, create the rest. What do you think? Yes, and what I wanted to add was the uh, when this conversation is going to take place, the first one, it's going to be on Sunday, this Sunday coming up at four o'clock in the afternoon. It will be, we will go from four to seven and um, then, and also that there is a cost to attend this, this, this workshop. And the cost is $19.99.
However, here is our promise. Our promise is this one. And, you, and some of you maybe even gotten the email. The promise is that if you are left like the conversation didn't create a turning point in your life, if you feel that way, then we just return your money. And, um, and we mean it. And then there is no questions asked. There's nothing to ask. You just didn't feel it. And so that's what I wanted to add, Sorel. It will be this Sunday coming up at 4 p.m. This Sunday at 4 p.m., your conversation, your creation. Thank you. Open it up for your comments, your questions for clarification, anything like that. Good morning, Sheila. Go ahead. Sorry, I couldn't get to my raised hand. I don't know where it is. But that was great. It sounds so exciting, so well thought, up, thought out. Um, I just wanted to say that, just really comment. And I won't be able to be in it this Sunday. I'm in another course this Sunday, but I'll make the next one. That's all right. That's great. But it sounds really awesome. And I just want you to know the daily huddle is just one of my favorite things in life to do these days. So thank you for all of it. Thank you, Sheila. Welcome. Andrea, go ahead. Um, a comment and a question, you guys. A uh, comment as being part of not the entire process because you guys develop it all, but as part of the brand this, uh, evaluation and identification, I really want to share with everyone that it is truly a, an exercise to think about where you are and evaluate if the actions and non-actions are really taking you where you should go and it's thinking about that potential and that turning point so i really want everyone to take a look at it and commit and really not just commitment about the workshop but commitment about thinking every day what is your turning point that's something that i wanted to uh, to elaborate a little bit because for me like for sheila is the daily huddle has becoming that turning point what is going to be this way what is going to be new today uh, that is going to make me think differently. And that's how I'm seeing it. So that's related to my question. So for both of you, Sorel and Giovanni, what has been the daily huddle for you in relationship to a turning point in your life? Has, has it yeah. modified? Has it done anything for you? Has it, or turning point meaning it has validated that my things, are, that I'm doing the things that I need to be doing. So what is your, that, that connection? Oh, I love that question. <laughs> and, uh, I didn't expect the question to move me to tears. Uh, the daily huddle has been for me a turning point in trusting humanity. A turning point in uh, uh, really relinquishing every single right I've ever had to know what's coming up, to know what's right for me and what's right for others. It's been a turning point in uh, developing my capacity to, to trust life and to know that life uh, will not bring to me anything that uh, I'm quote unquote incapable of facing and dealing with and being with. And it's also been uh, a turning point in, uh, in, in loving people. And uh, I, I love creating friendships and expanding friendships. And uh, the Daily Huddle has made it this place where uh, no matter what's happening in the world, I know that at 9 a.m. I'm gonna hear good morning said four times. And I'm gonna see your faces and it's either gonna go live on Facebook or not. And, uh, and I get to be uh, a human being, raw, unfiltered, trying to be perfect, not hiding it and, uh, and letting it fly. So I love the daily huddle and it is, a turning point in my life every morning. Thank you for the question, Andrea.
and thank you for making it that for me. Yeah, thank thank you, Andrea and Sorel. You're always moving, and you're so real, Sorel. You're so real. You you always move me. Um, thank you, thank you, Sorel. I I see the 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 Delhi Huddle is a turning point for me, and it also was created in the context of being a turning point for others. I was right before um before the the, the turn before the daily huddle i was uh calling my clients i have a, a certain number of clients that i do coaching and uh, their businesses were being impacted uh, and tremendously out, out of result of all the circumstances that you know you guys know about and so we were huddling up and talking about there were two things that we were talking about one was strategy and the other one was mindset and so it was so clear for me that the strategies were not the issue, right? Like on how to get to the clients, how to get to the target, to the, mar to the market, because they knew, they knew that even though the economy was kind of being impacted, they knew that regardless, there was a significant number of people that they were going to need their products. But the, but the mindset was low. The, the energy was low. They couldn't wake up in the morning with power. And so, uh, as I shared this with Sorel, uh, and it was like, we need to create a huddle, right? The huddle was a turning point where we penetrate, we interrupt the automatic way of responding to an unknown circumstance and create an intentional kind of thinking. Now, it couldn't be any way other than the way Sorel likes it. It has to be fun. It has to be deep and it has to include everything, right? Social activity, you know, everything, right? So, uh, so I'm, I'm all for that, right? So, so that's how Turning Point and the Daily Huddle are. And now the distinctions that we call them distinctions, but the, the practices that we go in through the, in through the three hour conversation are really crafted in such a way. I, I just want to say it this way, because I've, I have read the manual. I don't know how many times we have read it with Sorel, 10 times now. It's really crafted in such a way that it leaves you, and this is such a big promise. I know that if you're listening, you won't believe it. It leaves you with a turning point in your life, regardless of what you're dealing with. And, uh, and so that excites me. And I think that the daily huddle does that as well for the person who's like, really listening every morning. It, it creates a turning point in their day. So that's what I wanted to add to your question. That's a beautiful question. Thank you, Andrea. And Sorel, we have two more. I don't know if you want to go through them real quick or you want to call it a day. Go ahead, Sorel, you're on mute. Of course we do. We want to take Ronald and then Mary Pat and then uh, we'll uh, say a little bit about the awesome guests coming on the Daily Huddle this week. and. Close it off. Yeah, and then where to register for Turning Point? I put it on the chat, Sorrel. Okay, good deal. Ronald, go ahead. Yeah, thank you guys, thank you. I, I can say literally I'm a student of the Daily Huddle and and I, I love it. I love being in there every day. And, you know, although my entrepreneurship, I'm still working, my entrepreneurship skill, I'm still working on. But I was wondering, you know, from you guys, from your from your understanding of entrepreneurship, what do you guys think of about corporate entrepreneurship? I was told not too long ago that it's being taught in school right now. That, and, and, you know, just one of the things is I have my daughter going into business school right now, will be going to business school right now. So, so entrepreneurship is really, uh, you know, the word of the day. And I was wondering, what do you guys think about the word corporate? with entrepreneurship. I mean, just, just give me your thought on that. Uh, Ronald, just want to make a, a clarification point. Are you speaking of entrepreneurship with E-N-T-R-E -E or intrapreneurship, I-N-T-R-A? Okay, I did not know there was a, a difference in there. Uh, if there is one, please, please. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So in, in, inside of the world of a corporation, right, uh, mm -hmm. as, 
as an employee working in a department or as an employee heading a specific division of a corporation, you can see yourself as an employee or you can see yourself as an entrepreneur. As an entrepreneur working inside of a corporation, you are then an intrapreneur. So a lot of the B schools right now, uh, and there are a lot of workshops that deal with that. How do you actually take your employees as a corporation and turn them into entrepreneurs for the sake of fulfilling the intention of a specific department, a specific division of the company? So uh, that, that, that is essential. Uh, as, as someone who runs a company, I want every single one of my employees to be an entrepreneur practicing intrapreneurship inside my company. So uh, it's no, there, there, there isn't a big difference in the mindset. The big difference resides in where you're practicing as an entrepreneur. As an entrepreneur, you can be practicing and running and growing your own business, or you can be practicing inside of a corporation running and growing a segment of that business, but using the same mindset. Uh, and what corporations are discovering is this, the mindset of an entrepreneur is way different than the mindset of an employee. And in schools right now, given that schools are designed to train the next best crop of employees for our co corporations, uh, they are training entrepreneurs to be intrapreneurs in corporations. Uh, Jill, anything you want to add to that? No, it's awesome, Sora. That was actually a great answer. It included everything I would have said. Um, I, I would only add something if there is anything else for Ronald for us to add. No, no, that, that was perfect. That was, I mean, thank you so much because I was kind of lost into that that uh, wording and, and I'd never heard about the entrepreneur word. Uh, so they, thank you. I, I really get it. Thanks. Did that answer my question? You're, you're welcome, Ronald. You're welcome. Thank you for the question. And, and, I, and, I'm, and I'll reemphasize the fact that I'm a student of the daily model and I'm proudly saying <laughs> I, I'm referring a lot of folks to it. Thank you. Ronald, thank you. And, uh, you know, that's what I was referring to uh, earlier when I said uh, whatever Giovanni and I are saying, creating, it's really coming from you. And I'm just so grateful for that. Uh, Mary Pat? Well, I don't want to be redundant, but this is a life-giving experience and it's full of abundance. I just love every piece of it. And this is very exciting. And I want to get the word out to other people. Or are you just offering it to the daily huddle? That was my question. Yeah. Uh, the workshop. I, 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 I want to surprise someone and have <laughs> Andrea answer that question for us. <laughs> Uh, when we were doing uh, the uh, identification of the brand and who we were targeting, uh, the idea will be to define specifically who the idea of the, the person that will benefit from this. And we mm -hmm. honestly, we try to say it's for everybody. So that's truly the nature of a turning point. So to answer briefly your question, Mary Pet, that's not just for people on the daily huddle. The daily huddle has the same spirit, but it is for everyone that wants to have specifically a turning point in their lives. And we're okay. looking for that mindset, that entrepreneurship mindset. So we're looking for people that are truly wanted to use leadership in their personal life but also in their business life. So that is, if you have a person with that mindset, that's truly who can uh, benefit from the, from the course. But overall, it could be for anyone. But that's if you want to focus. And right. that would be so the well, those person. two people, yeah. Two people came to my mind who've expressed, like, they really want to take on life newly and just, like, really look at it carefully. And mm -hmm. so this, yeah, that's, that's who I was looking for. 
So did I did I answer it right? Correctly? You absolutely but did. Yes. Yeah. 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 It is it is that yeah. mindset. We're looking for those people that have that entrepreneurship in their soul employees or not or owners of their own business or not but they have it in their soul that they want to use leadership as the turning point for the life and their businesses got it great thank you it's exciting thank you thank you Eric. Bat. thank you joe honey it's all fun. right it's fun when we co-host and we're the guests right so i get to give you your last word Thank you, Sir Ralph. Thank you, all of you, for being here. I am, um, yeah, I just kind of started getting moved myself for ha for seeing all of you who are here and the, and the contribution that all of you are to the daily huddle and to the conversation that it, it, that it is committed to, right, to the impact that the daily huddle is committed to uh, in causing to people's lives. So uh, I, I hope that I could say as many of you on sun well, on Saturday and Sunday, right, and, uh, and, and create a conversation and come with us to truly create a turning point in your life this Sunday at 4 p.m., right? And go and register at www.turningpoint.expert, and then you'll see all the details. You'll see Sorel and I speaking on what it is going to be about, and then um, we'll create a turning point in, in our lives. Sorel. Yeah, well, uh, I want to end it this way. I, I won't say the quote right, but I remember it's attributed to Albert Einstein, right? And it goes, the definition of insanity is taking the same actions over and over and expecting different results. You've heard that, right? Well, what Albert Einstein didn't say is... If you're taking different actions, yet you're in the same world, you will still get the same results. Mm. So what Turning Point offers is a new definition of insanity. Insanity is living in the same world and expecting a different life. What's essential to creating a turning point in life and in business is to create a new world to live in. Let's do that. Until tomorrow, gang. Thank you. Have a great day. Guys, you have an amazing day. Have a good day, everybody. All right.